no one in Iowa has seen this film yet, I'm guessing. So, oh. I'm wasn't not there, sure. I, wasn't there a test screening somewhere? There was one in Kansas City. Kansas yeah, City. Yeah, okay. and uh, we're, we're pleased to say that people understand that we're, we want to have fun with these characters but never make fun of them. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, it was I, very I important for, when we were making the movie mm. for all of us. That was, I think, a, a, a critical thing as this family grew, as this team got put together, that everyone was on the same page, that this was not a, a kind of screwball movie making fun of bumpkins in the Midwest. It's a it's a poignant movie, hopefully, a, that goes to some ridiculous places, but it's about very real people that, that we care about. I mean, the Phil, the writer, is from Wisconsin. Alexander Payne, the producer, is from Omaha. I'm from Georgia. Ohio. And Ohio. Indiana. <laughs> yeah, and San Juan, Puerto Rico. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no. And you know, so everyone, it's not a, it's not like this sophisticated, wry, ironic look at oh, Midwesterners. It's kind yeah. of a, a very affectionate tale of real people in this world. So that balance of sincerity it was like an imp important part of your process. Yeah, oh, I think sure. that I think yeah. to me that's one of the reasons why the movie works is because you're not you're really approaching it with a certain amount of truth. You're not trying to make fun. You're just trying to be honest and truthful and play the scene. And the comedy is going to come out of that. What people respond to is going to come out of that. Yeah. I have to say, Isaiah is one of the best straight men I've ever worked with, and I, I'd love to actually hear from Anne and Ed what it, that was like. Because it, as we all know in comedy, it's really, really important, isn't it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> straight man is so critical, and uh, I think uh, Eric Idle and Monty Python said that comedy is not watching somebody do something silly, it's watching somebody watch what? somebody do something silly. And Isaiah is that that has that role in our movie. He's the one watching everyone doing weird stuff and responding. He's kind of, you're kind of like the audience's surrogate uh, or, or, or like a, a, just like something to grasp onto. Yeah. A life raft. You have a pretty good singing voice uh, in the, in the film and, uh, and John C. Riley's no vocal slouch either. Of course. Um, was there some, some after hours, uh, karaoke merriment? You know, it's funny, John and I uh, have a lot of music friends in common and we've uh, been part of some music uh, uh, happenings in LA over the years. And we both thought, I think, going to Michigan that we were going to hang out and play music all night and whatever. But we really were working so hard. There was really only one or two nights. There was one really fun night that John hosted. Yes. Where, uh, mm -hmm. where your good buddy Michael Sarek was in town, and he's a, also a great musician, Michael Sarek. And we did sit around and play a lot of music, and that was a really special night. It was just like a random night. It was very special. He got to perform while we were in Ann Arbor, and that was very, very sweet. Oh, that was really fun, yeah. Um, one of my favorite bands, the Old Crow Medicine Show, came through town, and uh, and they're, they're friends of mine. So um, I jumped up and played a couple of tunes with them at uh, this big theater in, in, Ann Ar in Ann Arbor. And a bunch of you guys came, right? Uh, I can't yes. remember. Um, None um, of you guys came. No, Never mind. No, no, we wanted no. to come. We had our baby with us. <laughs> no. That's right. Yeah, we had our baby with us. <laughs>